We're going to be talking about some multifamily properties in Lakewood, Ohio. Simon, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And, folks, if you're new, if you're new to the show, this is the show where we work together. We work together one-on-one with investors from across the globe, across the U.S., right? A lot of people are looking to start, build, grow their real estate portfolios. And a lot of people, no matter where they live, they come here to the Cleveland market as well as some of the other turnkey markets. And here on Hold Wise TV, we could help you out. If you're interested in some of the other turnkey markets like Detroit, Kansas City, Indianapolis, things of that nature, we have various partners across the nation. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing an FS Houses shirt right now. They're a vendor of ours. They're down in Indianapolis, Indiana. So if you guys are interested in the Indianapolis, Indiana market, in the show notes and later in the show today, we're going to talk to you about what FS Houses can do and then their contact info is in the show notes, right? But for Cleveland specifically, we are the team that handles it all top to bottom. We do property management. We have insurance. We have title. We have construction. We got the whole shebang. But it starts here first on Holton Wise TV with the show. It starts with education education and knowledge, right? And that's what I'm doing with my dude, Simon, right? Simon, you sent me this property. You're fairly interested in it. We looked at, uh, me and you, we looked at a triplex, I think it was in Cleveland Heights. Turned out that that one didn't make sense for you specifically, but now you're pretty interested in this one. 1604 Newman Ave, Lakewood, Ohio, 44107. Been on the market for a very long time, 89 days. That is not normal in the Lakewood market. And as far as the price, $102,000, also not normal in the Lakewood market. So before I talk any further about this property, I think it's super important for you to understand the Lakewood market because the city of Lakewood itself, that market is very different than a lot of the other neighborhoods here in the Cleveland area. So what I want to do, I'm going to take you to some footage where I broke down a property in the Lakewood market that is more in line with what you're going to get, right? If you'd like, you could buy that property. I'm not sure if it's going to make sense for you, but if you're interested in Lakewood, I need you to understand what you're dealing with. So let's take a look at that footage. But I wanted to start our relationship off with Lakewood, and I really wanted to just break down the Lakewood market for you. So what I've done first is I have got on the screen every property, every duplex, every multifamily, actually. Let me clarify. Multifamily, right? One to four units, okay? Uh, I've broke down that. I've got every single property that is available in Lakewood for you on the screen. And as you'll see, dude, there's only four, okay? We got four properties. The very cheapest one is $102,000, and I just want you to just immediately cross this off. Don't even think about this because this is like – a one-off situation. It's 102 grand, so obviously you'd be like, oh shit, let's check that out. That's like not a normal property, okay? It was built in 1898, and from the notes, it appears a very, very expensive renovation, which per your email, I don't think you got that kind of cash sitting around. Uh, it's going to need a huge renovation. It's just a, a one-off. Like I believe there is a dirt floor in the basement, not an actual concrete floor. So let's not even consider that, okay? That's not normal. The other three properties, though, are going to be very reflective of what you're going to see in Lakewood. 179, 9, 220, and 289. These are, you know, standard what you're going to see in the city of Lakewood. So I wanted to do uh, an analysis on 2029 Chesterlin Ave in Lakewood for you because this is a, a perfect synopsis, right? This is literally, if we don't count the property with a dirt floor, this is literally the cheapest duplex you can possibly get in Lakewood right now. It's been on the market for 29 days, and that's kind of a long time, right? For Lakewood, this stuff moves, dude. The reason there's only three real properties on the market is because one, two days on the market, boom, it's already gone. It's hot, bro. So if you're interested in Lakewood, great. We're going to go over the numbers. Uh, but you need to understand this market because investing in the Lakewood market, it's it's – 
it's very different. I get a lot, a lot of investors that reach out to us and they, they hear good things about Lakers because it's a very nice city. It's a great place. A lot of people want to live there and tenants pay a lot of rent. But what people don't understand when they're starting to invest and they're trying to get into the liquid market, they don't understand how high the prices are going to be, number one. Number two, they don't understand how fast properties are going to move. And then number three, they don't understand how the numbers are going to work out. I think a lot of investors, what they do is they do their numbers, they do their calculations, and they make offers that fit their numbers, the cash flow, but which makes sense. I get that. But what you have to understand is you really have to understand your market. You have to understand what you're buying. You have to understand what's driving your market. Lakewood, super nice, super awesome. But you know what? Lakewood is not a market that is driven by investors. It's driven by the owner-occupied market, right? I didn't pull up single-family homes for you because single-family homes even more so are going to be driven by the owner-occupied market. So the prices that you'd have to pay for these homes, uh, you would never cash flow on them. Yes, you could do a little bit of cash flowing on the duplexes, uh, but it's not going to probably be what your expectations were. And you might think, why would anyone ever pay that price if it doesn't make money specifically with what it's got, which is the situation here. But you have to understand who's buying these properties, dude. The people that are buying these are people that are going to house hack, right? I'm sure you've heard the term house hacking. Y'all probably have. You know, house hacking is a great thing, man. You could do like an FHA loan, okay? You know, you're a new, you know, new, uh, new home buyer, right? First time home buyer, right? Get an FHA loan, dude, three and a half percent down. You buy yourself a two hundred thousand dollar house in Lakewood. You only need seven thousand dollars as your down payment. You live in one of your units, and you go ahead and have the tenant in your other unit pay almost all your mortgage. So you're, you know, living for very, very cheap, right? That's the type of people that are buying these properties in Lakewood. That's what's driving the uh, the price points. Okay, so this particular one, hundred seventy nine thousand nine hundred, cheapest property in Lakewood. Currently, we got a three-bed and a two-bed. The three-bed tenant pays eight. The two-bed tenant pays seven. So it brings in $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year. Now, that is low. That is not the market rate. The market rates, good news for you, are going to be much higher. The three-bedroom unit at market rate is probably an $1,100 unit. The two-bedroom un two unit at market rate is probably a $950 unit. So $2,050 is the max rent you could bring in out of this property realistically. That's $550 more. But we're not going to get too deep into that right now. What I want to show you is what you'd be getting if you were to buy this property today. Okay? So of that $1,500 hundo that comes in, I'd estimate approximately 1,028 is going to go out the door every month on average. That's going to leave you with an NOI of 472. I know you wanted to make approximately $500 a month in cash flow, but you wanted to finance it. So this makes close to 500 bucks a month, but you'd have to come up with all cash, dog. You got to pay 180k out of your pocket to do that. That's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to finance it, right? So if you were to finance it at 179,900, because even though you might think it being a 3-1 cap, well, shit, I don't want to pay 200K or 170. I don't want to pay list price, almost 200K for a 3-1 cap. Them's the breaks, dog. If you want to invest in Lakewood, that's the price you're going to pay because it don't matter. Nobody else gives a shit that it's a 3-1 cap. The seller doesn't give a fuck that it's a 3-1 cap. Why? Because there's people that are going to buy it, right? Because remember, this market, Lakewood specifically, driven by owner-occupant, people that want to live in one unit, man, people that want high-quality real estate. So they don't give a fuck that it's 3-1, dude. Don't think that you'd be able to pick this up for a cheaper than list because you can't. I'm actually surprised it's still on the market. If I had to guess the only reason it's still on the market is because we have both of those tenants already in there. If one of these units was empty... No renovation done or anything, right? They're just in the same, uh, you know, the same exact uh, condition that they are in currently. I'll show you some pictures now. Like, if not a damn thing happened, it wouldn't even matter which tenant moved out, right? You see that these are dated and gross, right? Doesn't matter. Not a penny of work done. These, you'd get, like, these little 19, uh, 1980 tiles, right? Nothing done if one of these units was empty. This sucker would have sold probably above list price on the first day on the market. That's that's just how this market works, right? So the fact that there's two tenants in there is actually what's probably kept it on the market this long, right? So if you do pick it up, though, as it sits, bro, you're going to need to put down $44,975, all right? So that's going to give you a $568 a month mortgage, which, as you'll notice, is actually more money than your anticipated net operating income, right? So if you were to pick this property up as it currently sits, 
I would calculate for you that it would, on average, lose you $96 a month, lose you over $1,100 a year. So, of course, you know, you're not making any money. It's, you know, not a cash flow positive property as it sits, cash flow negative. Now, that said, don't forget, though, bro, those rents are low. So there is more meat on the bone right there. You know, it's not like it uh, would never make you money. It could make you money. As a matter of fact, as it sits, right, if we got the rent up to market rate, 2050 a month, that would pencil out to be an average of $454 a month cash flow, right, which is exactly what you asked for. You wanted approximately $500 a month in cash flow, and you were very interested in Lakewood. But the thing is, dude, to get to those rents, right, to get to that 2050, as you've seen from the photos earlier, both those units, they're looking pretty scuzzy, right? So you're probably going to have to put about $15,000 into each of those units. So that's another 30 G's, right? So you'd have to be all into this thing for approximately 210,000 to eventually get that amount of rent coming in and make your approximation of $500 a month. So you can do it. That's how the numbers would work out. And the other cool thing too is the resale value, extremely high, bro. Uh, in addition to that cosmetic reno, right, making it look good, if you had, uh, you know, newer roofs and like mid to end of life furnaces and hot water tanks, you'd probably be able to sell that sucker for like a 230, 240 if it was totally vacant. Maybe even 250, right? Because, you know, an owner occupant would come in and pick it up, right? So, you know, the potential's there. Uh, it's just you have to understand this market. You have to understand what drives the market, right? Whenever you're trying to uh, sell one of your Lakewood properties, uh, if you're trying to cash out, you know, make as much money as possible, increase the internal rate of return, that type of thing, you got to know your market. And the market of Lakewood is always going to be best served to sell these duplexes either vacant or with at least one vacant unit. Once you have two tenants in there, it really cuts off a lot of those owner-occupied buyers, and it really cuts down that price because, you know, the rental investors, they're looking at shit like, oh, it's a 3-1 cap, fuck that. Oh, it's actually losing $96 a month. It must be a bad deal. Fuck that. Not exactly. Not a bad deal. No, it's a good deal. You just have to understand the market, right? So that's Lakewood. So I thought it was important uh, to show you this property, right? Because, again, there's only three real properties in Lakewood. And, uh, you know, the other two are just more expensive, of course, right? The other one, uh, that's going to be even more money. That's 220 k And then the one on Bunce is 289 k So if uh, you are ready to make a move... Uh, the Chester one would probably be the most feasible one for you. If that doesn't, uh, you know, fit with what you're doing, man, that's why I wanted to, to just give you one, right? You got two videos from me. You ordered two properties, right? We're going to be looking into two properties for you. I wanted to show you Lakewood. If that is, uh, you know, what you were anticipating, great, man. Let's make a move on this property. If not, now you know what you get with Lakewood. You understand the Lakewood market. You understand how business would go if we were to try to target Lakewood for you. All right, Simon. So now I'm assuming you have a in-depth understanding of what you're dealing with in Lakewood. If you want to make a move on the Chesterland house, let us know because, you know, I think the deal could make sense if you're looking for quality investments. Uh, if not, that's totally cool too, but I really wanted you to just get that understanding. So now let's move our thoughts over to this one, right? Now, the price point, 102000 on the market for 89 days. I just told the other guy in, in the footage you just watched that I think there might be a fucking dirt floor, and this is like a total uh, just different than the rest of the market. Now, that does not necessarily mean we can't make money here. Uh, he couldn't, right, because he didn't have the kind of cash uh, required to take a deal like this down, right? You're going to need to put in a lot of cash, dude. But if you have the appetite for this, this could be a burr deal, right? Here is the thing. As far as what the property is doing right now, here's the rents, bro. One tenant, they're paying 500 The other unit, it's totally vacant. What the the agent said, great investment property with one occupied unit, three bedrooms per unit, laundry room in each unit, no basement to deal with, wonderful chance to grab your first investment property or add to your existing investments. That's very interesting because in the broker notes, which is private notes that you guys can't see, the agent said you're going to need to wear wor work boots if you're going to go down into the basement, right? So in the public remarks, he's got something that's kind of 
opposite of that, but what what I believe it is, it's a situation where it's like a crawl space type basement deal where like, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but like in super old homes, because by the way, this, this motherfucker is old, man. This is, uh, this is built in the 1800s, okay? This home right here, built in 1898, right? So that's 122 years old as I talk to you. Uh, the way that some of these old homes are built, it's like a basement, but it's not really a basement, I guess. It's like there's no door and then just normal stairs. It's usually like you open a door in the floor, like a cellar door, and you have to go down there, right? So the, the, the unit, the building, it's fucked, right? It's totally fucked. Now, here it is. It's a side-by-side, -side, which is great. I love side-by-sides, but you got to understand you got to do a ton of work to this particular property, right? Like, you got a lot of issues. Like, you see this right here? See on the ceiling above the shower? We got issues. That showed me we got water damage coming in there, right? So that could be a problem. This room is just obviously grimy. Just, just nasty, grimy stuff. Old furnace. Super old home, okay? So we got to spend a decent chunk of money to be able to put a tenant into that empty unit. And then, of course, the other unit that's being rented at 500 if we ever want to get that to market rent, we got to spend a ton of money. But here's the good thing, because it is Lakewood. Here's what you can get. With each of these being three bed, one bath, we could rent each of these units for 850 a month. So that bring in 1700 or 20400 Now... This is on the far east end of Lakewood. So, like, if there could be, like, the worst area of Lakewood, it would be this. But here's the thing. It's Lakewood. The worst area of Lakewood is probably a lot better than the majority of Cleveland, right? So you got to keep that in mind. Uh, so if we were further out west and we had a more traditional property, uh, a bigger classic duplex, our rents would be way higher. But eight fifty is still not a lot. You know, that's nothing to sneeze at, right? $1,700 a month is still a lot of money. If we brought in $1,700 a month... After calculating for, you know, the average expenses I would anticipate, bro, you know, we're going to be cash flowing 776 right? That's almost $10,000 for the entire year. And it's Lakewood. We're going to have a ton of demand. There's going to be people lining a, down the street to try to rent this property from us. Very few turnovers in Lakewood, very few evictions, things of that nature. But how do we get it from just this crazy old house uh, today to actually being able to bring in 1700 Well, I think we need to do a big-ass reno, dude. That unit I just saw, that looked like crap. $15,000. we got to pencil that in right now to make that a beautiful unit to get us 850 in rent. The other unit, where a tenant's paying 500, we got to assume that one's just as crappy. That's another $15,000, okay? So now we're at 30, but it continues. This property is so old. 1898. I have conflicting reports about the basement. I believe it's a dirt floor basement cellar. Everything seller, not seller, S L S E L L E R, seller with a C, however the hell you spell that. But everything on this is old. I've seen water damage. It's just super duper duper old. It's an abnormal property. So I'm going to put in another 15K just because uh, I don't see us not needing to spend another 15K. And I don't know what that 15K would necessarily go to. We'll need to go to some new furnaces, maybe, some electrical upgrades, maybe, new hot water tanks, possibly, foundation issues, probably. Uh, that 15 is not going to be enough if we need to do some serious foundation work. But I think it's a good start just penciling in another 15 when we're factoring this in. So... Because of all that, because it's been on the market, I think we can get like another little discount. Not much off the price, because again, as you've seen from the previous footage of the Chesterland property, the price is already way different than the rest of the market. But I think if we take it down at 95, put 45 into it, we'll be all into it at 140. If you're all into this thing at 140, with the rents that come in, it makes it a 6-7 cap, which is eh, it's okay. But the cool thing is, at that point, then we'd want to go in and do a cash out refinance, making this a bird deal with 45,000 going into this particular property. I don't see why the other properties in Lakewood wouldn't pull the value way up. And I don't see why we couldn't get it to appraise for 165. If we got it to appraise at 165, bro, they would, uh, they would send you back $123,750 of your 140. So that'd mean you'd only have 16 G's or so in the deal, giving you a cash on cash return of almost 
almost 20%. So you could make almost 20% on your cash, and you're going to have a side-by-side -side duplex, which I love. If you watch my other shows, you know I think that's the premium layout for a duplex. And you're in a super stellar market, which is Lakewood, which I love. But what you need to understand is it ain't going to be easy to get there, right? It's 45 Gs. And that 45 Gs, man, that is going to be 45 Gs minimum, okay? You know, you're going to definitely want to get a third-party home inspection. When that third-party home inspector goes through this, he might be finding other stuff I don't know about, right? I haven't even talked about the roof. You know, probably six, $7,000 roof. You know, I saw water damage in one of the bathrooms, and it's a side-by-side. -side. So, you know, there's probably not another bathroom above that bathroom. So that could show us some roof issues. That could add another six or seven K to the thing. So with this particular property, Simon, it didn't work for my other client because he didn't have that kind of cash lying around. If you're ready to put in that kind of cash, I think, yeah, man, you could probably go ahead for the deal. But if you think this is too big of a project, it's too risky for you, there's no shame in backing away from this and going for a more traditional type deal using traditional financing and not getting a property that is going to be the odd man out, the ugly duckling, the redheaded stepchild of the entire city. But that said, there's also another train of thought that is always you want to buy the worst house on the best street. So this is one of those deals. Uh, it's not something that I would say not a good deal. I'm going to say it's a good deal for the right investor with the right risk appetite. You tell me, brother, if that is you. Everybody else, if you like today's show, hit that like button, give us the love. And if you want to work with my team, you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, like you see me working with Simon and earlier you saw me work with my previous client, Ryan, what I want you to do is click property search for sale tab on HoltonWise.com. And you can see the few ways you could work with us here. If you own a Cleveland property, you want to sell it on a, on a TV show, which is our other show, the Investment Properties for Sale show, click that. If you're an investor, you want to just buy our properties, buy our inventory, check that show out. We'll have video tours and analysis on our properties. You simply browse the inventory and you send your bids to sales at HoltonWise.com. We're the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. We have sold over $200 million worth of Cleveland area real estate. Next. MLS search and analysis show. That's what you're watching right now. That is if you want a one-on-one -on -one relationship. If you want me to talk to you about your needs, your wants, your goals, what you're trying to do, break down things that are in your budget or what you're looking for, click this. Various packages available. I recommend you guys get the packages that have multiple properties so we can create a long-term relationship. And then finally, if you're an investor who just needs data, you know what you're doing, you don't even need my services as far as a broker or a property manager or a contractor, you just need the data so you can make your cash offers to people before everybody else, right here, you can have my broker MLS data, comps, seller financing, flips, rentals, you name it, it's all there. That starts at 10 bucks. Get the info before Zillow or Realtor.com. That's all I've got for everyone today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, 
discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.